G'day guys, welcome to this RX Wise V2 video. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about NRL Round 18 Recap for 2019 guys. So let's get started. So the first game of this round sees the Broncos up against the Bulldogs. This game was an absolute great game, but it was an average um, tight match. <sighs> but seeing um, Brandon Wakem only scoring one try to seal um, that deal, um, I think it was his first try of that game <sighs> but yeah I just think this game just had that spark but with the Broncos um, they were showing so much um, fight in that um, spirit of that clash but I just think for the Bulldogs they are a great team I just think that for themselves they need to show what leadership is and they need to um, have that good roster in that team. Because at the moment, with Marcelo Montoya injured, you only got Will Hopawade and Remus Smith um, on the wing and centres. I just think that this one here is going to be an absolute confusing um, roster for Bulldogs. But they are a great side. I'm not going to say any negative um, things about them. But at the moment, I just think they are um, just a bit disappointing um, team because I just think that this one was an absolute um, fighter. But for the Bulldogs, they haven't um, waken up and shown um, they can win um, against the Broncos here because this scoreline was 28 points for six. With a couple of tries leading into that, um, Corey Oates, you got Katoni Staggs and Jermaine Asako. Jermaine Asako only scored one try, um, but yeah, I reckon this game, no, wasn't just... This, this one had a lot of um, fight, but I only this game, though, seeing this woman in um, the first riffing um, team, well done to this um, lady um, that first refed in that side. I just think that this one was an absolute great game with the woman first refing in the Broncos and Bulldogs clash. And I just think that this side was an absolute um, great one. No um, negatives and really, I um, just think that this one had a lot of potential. But I did... Um, went for the Bulldogs here. Um, no, I did go for the Broncos. Sorry about the Bulldogs. Um, I did go for the Broncos here by six points. And they won because they have that roster. They have that spark. With Matt Dearden, um, no, Thomas Dearden, sorry. Um, probably injured. I'm not sure if he's coming back or not. Um, probably in a couple of weeks. But then again, Bron um, Broncos, they are a great team. But they have fallen apart a couple of times. But they've shown that sometimes they can win, sometimes they can lose. But they're not a disappointing side. So yeah, that one was an absolute great um, win for Broncos. And I just went for um, them by six points here. So the second game of this round sees the Warriors up against the Cronulla Sharks. I just think this one had that disappointment. But... Showing the Warriors, um, they have um, lost a couple of games, but with this Cronulla Sharks, I just thought they were going to have that spark to that team, and I thought them to myself, they were going to be on the top eight, but they're just really disappointing at the moment, but not to be negative, um, I just think that Cronulla Sharks are a great side. But this one, this clash, was an absolute um, fighter. But this one was a great game. But seeing Andrew Fafida shoulder, shoulder charging um, that bloke, which I don't know who it was. Um, okay, this one, I just think that shoulder charging just needs to stop doing that. Every time I see it, it just ruins the game. But... Anyway, I, I know I'm not in control. I know I'm not um, in charge for that. So I am making my point here. Um, 
but yeah, I just think that this game though was an absolute great game. We've seen so many um, drives into this clash with um, Blake Green kicking that field goal to make it 19 points to 18 against the Cronulla Sharks, which I thought to myself that Cronulla Sharks were going to win, but seeing Blake Green kicking that field goal just had that spark and had that surprising moment into that squad. But I just think Chad Townsend is a great player. I do watch you um, on YouTube, and I know I'm a big fan of you. But I just think you're a great player. But going up, um, for Britton Nakora, you're in my super coach, and I think Chad Townsend is in there too. But I went for the Warriors here by eight points. Um, and I only won by one point, which that means I was actually surprised that they they won. Um, but yeah, this one was a great clash. <sighs> Chad Townsend and Britton Nakora. You guys were the man of my word, um, only because I think you two guys were in my super coach um, squad. But yeah, this one was a great game. Seeing this win um, with my New Zealand Warriors. Um, which that means I am half New Zealand, half Australian. Um, but yeah, this one was a great clash, and seeing this point was a surprising moment for Blake Green kicking that field goal to make it 19 points to 18, and I did pick the Warriors here by 8 points. So the next game of this round sees the Panthers going up against the Dragons. This one was an absolute great game. I just think that the Panthers put up a really good fight um, going up against the Dragons because I do think that this one was just a disappointing clash because without Ben Hunt, I just think that this game, they were going to lose and they did. Um, but yeah, 40 points to 18. That one was a, just a high scoring match and I do think that the Panthers were going to put up a fight, and they obviously did. But going up, going up like 30 points, I just think that this game had that fight, and I just think that this guy, Brian Toho, I think that you're an absolute man of my word. Um, surprisingly, every time I see you um, in that wing. Um, so I, I just think that you're an absolute good try scorer and you're an absolute finisher. But with that speed of yours, you can absolutely dominate anyone. But I reckon this one was an absolute great game. And I did pick the Panthers here by four points. And they obviously won by massive um, average point. But I did think that the Dragons were going to um, make it um, a win. But... Unfortunately, they didn't. But do I do um, support um, the Dragons with that um, good quality um, squad inside? But I reckon that the Dragons they are a good footy side. But with that, um, without Ben Hunt, seeing that was just a shocker. I just think um, he just puts up a lot of fight. Um, he just creates any tries um, with try assists. And with that emotion, with anyone seeing Ben Hunt um, dropped, that would have um, put a lot of tears on people's faces. Um, but yeah, this one was an absolute great game. I did think that um, the Dragons were going to win this, but they didn't. I was going to tip them, but I just thought to myself, with the Panthers, seeing James Maloney, Nick, um, not Nick, um, Nathan Cleary and Brian Toho. Um, he's those three players are just a man of the um, that game. I just think that they're going to change everything, and yeah, they did. So I did pick the um, Panthers here by four points, and this scoreline was forty points to eighteen, and yeah, what a great scoreline. The next game of this round sees the Roosters going up against the Newcastle Knights. Three o'clock game. S SCG was an absolute splendor. I just think that this game was just a surprising win. So many tries leading up against 
the Newcastle Knights. This one was an absolute upset. But last time, when Roosters were going um, up against the Knights at the Knights Stadium, um, the Knights won um, at that stadium. But yeah, I did think that um, the Roosters were going to win, and they obviously did by a big margin of a score. But this one, this scoreline was a 48 point to 10 scoreline, and I just think that this game was an absolute splendor of a game. But with Newcastle Knights, they just had that not that didn't um came to win that um game, but they didn't um wake up, wake up and fall to um to that, to that side. Um, but yeah, I did think that um I picked the Roosters here by 18 points, and they obviously won by a big margin. But this one, for the Roosters, with so many tries, Boy Corner, Victor Radley, Nat Butcher, James Tedesco, and Latrell Mitchell. Oh my god, so many tries for this game. But for this one, um, for the Knights, 10 points with two tries um, with a missed um, goal. I did think that this one was an absolute great game, but... Seeing Herman SASA and Tautar Moga um, seeing, um, getting two tries was just not enough. But they didn't play their heart. Um, but for the Roosters, you guys are an absolute um, dominant team. I know that you have lost a couple of games, but now you guys absolutely surprised me and you guys are just a premiership. Side, um, but yeah, this one was a just an absolute great game. 48 points to 10. I was just surprised of that scoreline, but yeah, I went for the Roosters here by 18 points, and they obviously won. The next game of this round sees the Raiders up against the West Tigers. This one here going up um, at Canberra. I just think the Raiders. They put up a lot of fight um, with our club, um, with the Parramatta Eels. Last time, um, this one had a great uh, win. But for, like, this one, I know, I'm just saying that only because um, the last time the Parramatta Eels um, played there, we obviously lost. But for the um, West Tigers, um, let's move on um, with that. I reckon this game was an absolute great game. But seeing the scoreline 20 points to 12, I just think that Chance and Nicole Klockstad, you're an absolute great player with the number one um, jersey. You absolutely kill it every single time um, you play for the Raiders. But I just think that this one here was an absolute um, dominant match. But Michael McGuire, seeing disappointment um, from the um, West Tigers, he just didn't um, think that, I reckon, for the West Tigers, they just need to improve themselves more. But they haven't, because that um, game obviously lost for them. <coughs> Excuse me. But I reckon that this game, though, had that fight, had that win. But for the Raiders, you guys are an absolute great side. But you just are a threatening side. But yeah, 20 points to 12 for that scoreline. But I did pick the Raiders here by 12 points. And they obviously did win that game. And yeah, this game was a, just a dominant um, game. But yeah, for the Raiders, you guys are an absolute great team. The next game of this round sees the Cowboys going up against the Rabbitohs. This one here was an absolute great game as well. I did think that Cowboys were gonna just stomp it and just get it, and yeah, they were gonna win. But for the Rabbitohs, you guys just changed the form with Damian Cook, Dan Gagai, Cameron Murray, Adam Reynolds, but without Alex Johnston, I just think they're gonna make that good four pack. 
but I reckon with that full package, excuse me, I reckon with that full package, I just think without Alex Johnston, they didn't make that full package, but yeah, I just think 30 points to 18 had that potential of the Rabbitohs were going to win, and yeah, wasn't their game for the Cowboys, and I just think that this game was just a splendor of a game, and yeah, I did went for the Rabbitohs here by 14 points, and they did win, and yeah, this game was an absolute cracker of a match, and I just think that this game had that fight, had that potential, and yeah, this game was an absolute splendor of a game. The next game of this round sees the Titans going up against the Melbourne Storm. Now this clash, I just think that this game was just a simple game. But for the Titans, you're just so disappointing. Every single time I see you guys, you just need to grow some form. Because at the moment, with Gareth Brennan um, getting sacked, you guys have nothing to but literally, you're just a disappointment um, to the team. But, yeah, seeing this game was just a fight. But, Melbourne Storm killed it with 38 points to 18. And I did think that Cameron Smith was going to score, and he obviously did. But, this game was a, just an absolute fracker of a match at Gold Coast. Seabus Super Stadium, the Titans home ground, and I just think this game was a disappointment to the Titans home ground, but yeah, for Melbourne Storm, you guys are just threatening side, with the first on the ladder, and yeah, I went for the Melbourne Storm here by 10 points, and they obviously won, but they do put their heart out, they put their soul into that game, and yeah, they put in a lot of work, um, but yeah, this game, though, just had that, um, potential of a win for the Titans, but they obviously don't, because every time I see them, they may score tries, they may score a couple of tries, they may have, um, a couple of them, but at the moment, they just get really tired, and the other opponents just score and make it so many tries, but yeah, for the Titans, you guys are just a disappointing team, but yeah, I don't know what to say, I'm just very gutted um, for the Gold Coast Titans, but yeah, this game though was an absolute great game, but for the Titans, you just need to win a couple of games, or unless if you don't, you're just still a disappointing team to watch, um, but yeah, a bit of bit disappointing um, but yeah embarrassing loss and for the Mountain Storm they're just a killer of a team and yeah this game was just an absolute great game and yeah well done to the Mountain Storm last but not least of this game sees the Sea Eagles going up against the Parramatta Eels my home club I just think this one was just, I don't know what to think. This one was a disappointing um, loss. But for the Manly Sea Eagles here, you guys are just a dominant team. I just have a lot of respect um, because obviously for that um, club of the Manly Sea Eagles, you guys are just an absolute dominant team. But seeing Tom Trevojevic getting that try, he is just a threat. To, um, making that um, tries of his club <sighs> but for the Paramount Eels this one here was just a disappointing um, game but yeah unfortunately um, we did lose but we tried our heart out um, but I know some of them some of the, our fans think um, that we didn't put our effort in but we obviously I obviously think that we did because seeing 36 points to 24, they just tried their heart out, um, because this scoreline, if they would have, um, not tried their heart out, it would have been, like, 30 to 10, or 30 to 6, but 
seeing 36 to 24, they obviously put their effort in and yeah, they try their heart out. So with Ethan Perry scoring his first try um, of his debut, um, it was just a surprising win. Um, no, it's a surprising try, obviously. Um, but yeah, seeing this one here, sc scoring so many tries, I just think that this one was an absolute great game. But I was there, I was vlogging that um, video. Um, if you do um, see my YouTube ch um, channel, go and like it. Um, it's RXYSV2, and um, my vlog is obviously there. Um, but yeah, I was at that game at Manly. Um, but yeah, seeing this one was just an absolute great game. I just think that um, the Paramount Eels had that fight, but they didn't try their best, but they obviously have. Um, but well done to Ethan Parry, though. I was think that the... I was think Blake Ferguson was going to get a win here, but he obviously... Um, no, I thought... Sorry, I thought Blake Ferguson was just going to... Um, make it but he obviously didn't so he had a knee infection um with an injury but yeah this game was an absolute great game but seeing the eels making it they obviously didn't but i did pick the eels here by 14 points and they obviously lost and yeah this game was an absolute cracker of a match and i was there so go like it go comment if you want you can go watch it if you want but this game was an absolute great game. But Paramount Eels had that effort, but they didn't put in enough effort. Thanks guys for watching my video, guys. Stay tuned for more, and I will be um, doing the Round 19 predictions, and I will be doing that soon. But this one here will be absolutely um, on um, my YouTube channel, and this one here will be on Facebook, um, my Facebook page. But yeah, um, yeah. So I will be um, going to Bulldogs and Roosters, um, and I will be filming it there. But yeah, if you if you guys want to meet me, um, yeah, you're more than welcome to come and have a chat. Come and have a um, come and have a chat, really. But yeah, I'm more than welcome to. Um, but you guys, I do respect you guys. Um, but yeah, thanks guys for watching my video guys, and I will be doing the NRL Round 19 predictions coming up soon, and this one will be out uh, very shortly, but yeah, this one was just so superior, but anyway, what can you do really, but thanks guys for watching my video guys, stay tuned for more, until then, take care.